The big game and our big game covers tonight. Also, the biggest game in the state is number one, Judson taking on number three, Clemens, to try and end the regular season undefeated in a winner-take-all district title in 26-6A. The Buffalo strike first off a of Judson miscue. The pass is actually a lateral. Bryce Taylor with a scoop and score. And just like that, Clemens has the early 6 to nothing lead. What a presence of mind to do that. The Rockets rebound. When the handoff goes to DeAnthony Lewis, he's taking it in for the nine-yard touchdown. As a result, the Rockets take the lead 7-6. to six. Now, Judson's Mike Chandler keeps. He's able to scoot in for 13. 13-yard touchdown and a 13-6 lead. But the Buffalo Stampede, Max Didomenico with a pass to Vincent Perez, and now it is 13 off. Now watch Didomenico put it up in the air again for Perez and watch the great adjustment he makes in the air to make the catch, and Clemens has a lead over Justin at the half, 20-13. Now the third quarter, the Rockets get even on this Mike Chandler goal line touchdown around the right corner, and we are deadlocked just like that at 20 off. The Buffaloes don't take long to take the lead again. On the ensuing kickoff, Caleb Thickpin is bringing this all the way back. And look at this. Nobody even touches a young man for the 95-yard touchdown return and the lead 27-20. to Following the Rocket field goal to make it 27-23. Clemens, Judson with the onside kick and the Rockets. Alan Caratillo recovers. Then Mike Chandler scores from 13 yards out. They take the lead again 30-27. But not for long. The Buffs will bounce back. Didomenico takes it in from three yards out on this play. Now it's 34 to 30 with about six and a half left. And that's the way it played out. So final, the upset. Clemens gets the district title, 34 to 30. Let's head to East Central Stadium. Horn is hosting six-ranked steel. Four quarter, Knights up 21-14 to Quavian Thomas. Takes a hand off and muscles away across the goal line with a two-yard score. Steel goes up 28-14, trying to stay in third playoff spot. Maybe knock out East Central. There's your final, steel 35-20. Smithson Valley Rangers giving their seniors a proper send-off in their final game of the regular season against New Braunfels. Home team strikes first. Game Hoskins gets to the edge, races in for the 10-yard score, the quick 7-0 lead. The Rangers trying to get into the playoffs, the final for Rangers Stadium, 42-28. Smithson Valley champion charge up in Bernie tonight, hosting the Alamo Heights Mules of the Chargers, looking to stay in the number two playoff spot with the Mules trying to get in. Chargers quarterback Luke Boyers hits Ree Cantrell. He's able to get down to the 11-yard line. Now first and goal after that when Boyers connects with Cantrell again on the slant to take a 7-0 lead right there. Let's go back to the big game coverage scoreboard now to get some finals for you. Champion with the win tonight. Clemens with the big upset over Justin I handing them their first loss of the season. Steel over East Central 35 to 20 and Le Smithson Valley over New Bravo's 42 28. Say hello to the dancing sousaphone at Hero Stadium. Johnson taking on ninth ranked Madison with the match trying to wrap up the district 27 6 8 title. Second quarter Mads on the move. Gabriel Green nice in for the five yard touchdown. They gave Madison lead 21 to 14 at the half. The final it in the four still 48 26 Madison. Let's take it to South Sand Stadium. The Reagan Rattlers trying to make the playoffs tonight but the Bobcats had other ideas. Richard Lopez comes up with the timely interception off the deep ball. He's returning this 40 yards all the way to the Rattlers 50 yard line in the process. Now that sets up a third and four situation from the 16 for Brendan Riojas. He's going to take it into the end zone to Aiden Gomez. This is for the first touchdown of the game and the final from South San. Reagan gets the win still in the fourth though. 27 to nine not over yet. The MacArthur Bramers take the field to Cole Melander for the second half against Lee. Third quarter volunteers up 31 28. Taj Tellers Ford takes a hand off running towards the far sideline. He's in for the one yard touchdown. Lee goes up 38 28. Let's see if that's gone finally has Lee with the win 52 42. Let's head to Harlan Harlandale Memorial Stadium. Indians hosting the McCollum Cowboys in the annual Frontier Bowl. Four quarter. Harland up 31-14 adding to it. Victor Paradas races in for the three yard score. Indians go up 38-14. Let's head back to the big game. We've got your scoreboard for that final and more. Harlandale wins the Frontier Bowl 38-14. Madison leading right now. Johnson 48-26. That is in the fourth. Also in the fourth. Reagan leading South Sand 27-9. And MacArthur falls to lead tonight 52-42. The Marshall Rams says hello at Ferris Stadium. Rams taking on Jay trying to play the role of the spoiler tonight. They're pulling out some razzle dazzle. Third quarter. Quarter. Dylan Cooper with a backwards pass to Christian Snell. He hits Zane Zuniga downfield. The ball comes loose, but somehow Zuniga recovers it. That leads to a 35-yard field goal. Marshall leads at the time 24-19 at the end of the third. And that is a final. John Jay comes back to win 48-24. Time to get down with a Clark Cougar at the Gus. Clark taking on Warren. Warriors rolling up 42 to nothing. Third quarter adding to it. Christian Miller launches one for David Randall. He's got it in stride for the 83-yard touchdown. Warren goes up 49 to nothing. Let's see if that's gone final from Gus. 
It has won with a big win, 63 to nothing. Patriots veterans from Memorial trying to hold on to their number two playoff position, District 13-5A, hosting the Sam Houston Hurricanes, who are wrapping up their season tonight. Patriots quarterback Khalid Paulette to J.C. Solitaire out of the backfield. Watch him dive for the end zone, but unfortunately he's ruled out at the two-yard line. So Solitaire gets the honors to take it in and a 10-0 Veterans Memorial lead. The final from Rutledge, not yet, still in the fourth, 38-6 Veterans Memorial. Now let's take you out to Alamo Stadium where the Brackenridge Eagles are trying to hang on to the third playoff position against Highland Owls, who are out of the playoffs. Brack down 8-7. Marvin Levingston picks up 16 yards for the Eagles with a run right up the teeth of the Owls defense. First and goal for the three is what it sets up in the process. They give it to Levingston again. He's into the end zone to take the lead. Back to the big game cover scoreboard to see if that has gone final. It has. Brackenridge over Highlands 47-14. Memorial right now. Veterans Memorial leading Sam Houston in the 438-6. It was John Jay over Marshall. That's the final 48-24. And a big shutout for Warren tonight. 63 to nothing over Clark. A young Memorial cheerleader getting the chance to shine at Edgewood Veterans Stadium. The men and then taking on Kennedy in the Salsa Bowl. Rockets down 28 to nothing, but threatening near the goal line. But the pass is intercepted on a carom in the end zone by Harold Tolbert. Men and defense pitches a shutout. 28 to nothing is the final. Brother Harry Cornell has been the voice of the Buttons for over 50 years, manning the mic at all these Central Catholic home games as a 1958 graduate as well. Tonight, the Buttons hosting Antonian down 14 to 7 in the second quarter. Quarterback Jaden Velasquez finds Aiden O'Connor on the screen pass. He takes it 37 yards for the tying touchdown, 14 all. The final from Bob Benson Stadium, 41 to 38. Antonian comes back to win that one. And finally, what happened when John Paul II came calling the St. Anthony Yellow Jackets from Corpus Christi all the way to Gale and Tom Benson Stadium for the campus of UIW? Quarterback Aiden Olivio. Keeps on the options, able to pick up 32 yards to get down to the Yellow Jackets 12. And then a few plays later, Olivio rolls out on the play action and is able to find Alec Maxwell. He's in the back of the end zone for the touchdown. And let's wait for it right here. And we'll, before we get back to the big game coverage, scoreboard, there, he's got it right here. So let's take a look at that final. St. Anthony falls to John Paul 41-23. Antonio barely gets by Central Catholic tonight, 41-38. Kennedy shut out by Memorial 28 to nothing to Salsa Bowl. And San Marcos leading Brothels Canyon right now in the 4th, 27-15. We're not done up next. Our big game coverage, road trip, fan cam, and more scores and highs from your favorite teams. But first, let's listen to the McCollum Cowboys marching band.